Uh, hi, this is Laval or Valerie, the current writer for Group of Prisoners, and I've also worked on other mods such as Dialog Plus. Um, this is going to be a brief video tutorial on patching mods. Specifically, I'll be teaching how to patch other mods to use recruitment packages from recruitable prisoners. This will let you recruit modded NPCs in game like you can in vanilla. This is also going to touch on how to find the files you download from the Kenshi Workshop and transfer them so you can use them within the Forgotten Construction set, which is Kenshi's modding tool set. This is relatively unscripted, and I'm not really used to improv like this. I do apologize if it's a little awkward and scattered. This is like my fifth take. We'll get there. Um, so first of all, we're going to just find the files we want to patch. So the best way to do this is to go there, the properties folder. It's open on general, but go to local files, browse local files, and it will bring up this right here. This is the Kenshi's installation folder, and we're going to refer back to this in a moment. But first of all, we need to find the mods that we want to modify. So to do this, we'd go to Steam Maps, we'd go to Workshop, we'd go to Content, and the Kenshi Workshop is this one right here, 233860. Go in there, and what we want to find is the recruitable prisoners package, which you can either find through searching, you'd search recruit, and it would bring up this one here. And we also want to find the thing that we want to modify. I'm using um, skeleton v48 as the thing to patch. Um, this may differ depending on what you want to patch. The naming scheme for these are randomized on the workshop. It's going to be different for each one. Um, the best way is just to search or just look. I don't know an exact science for it because um, people name their mods differently and it can be a pain depending on who it is. Um, so what we want to do is we want to copy both of these. We'd go back into Steam Apps, go back to Common, go to Kenshi, and we want to copy these both into the mods folder. This will make it so we can open up both of them in FCS, which is Forgotten Construction Set. There's one more step we need to do. Um, we need to go into the mods folder. We want to find the name of the mod file, which it's going to have the prefix .mod, prefix, sorry, suffix. And we want to forget that name, we want to go back, we want to rename the folder, and now it's ready to be used within the FCS. It'll show up. Um, I don't believe it shows up without this step, but I've already got recruit prisoners package, so I don't need to do that, but you would need to if you don't have it already. Next, we want to open up the forgotten construction set. You, to do this, you'd go to play, launch game editor. You can also launch it from within the Kenshi folder, but we're not going to do that right now. It'll bring up, sorry, it's opened up in another window. I'll pull it down. It'll open up this. It'll look something like this. The contents of this will be different. This will be the same. Um, we want to open, we want to have ticked, recruit prisoners and the mod that we want to patch. And then we would want to do not press done. We want to go up here, click this little button with the rectangle and the star. This creates another mod file, so we'll just name it patch RP plus uh, V48 because that's why I'm patching. The name doesn't really matter um, unless. Uh, thank you, FCS. This happened before. Hold on. There we go. It's back. So this would create. Uh, sorry. This will create a separate mod file. And we want to set that as the active with both of these two mods as dependencies. And then we press done. We're ready to modify things. This is so any changes we make are not to the main package. Um, if we make changes to the main package, if you use other files that patch things, um, 
from the workshop, like user patches um, from either the original developer or someone nice enough to do so. It can interfere with uh, the patches functionality. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a character that we want to patch. To do this, um, we're going to do v48. We can search the name of the .mod file if we want to find entries from that mod. This will bring up all the entries that's relevant. Um, we're going to modify Legion Assassin, let's say. Um, so we want to have a dialogue package from recruitable prisoners on this character so they can be recruitable. To do this, we're going to go to the drop down menu, going to go to dialogue package, we're going to hit add. All um, recruitment packages from recruitable prisoners are prefix mod RP. All the usable ones will be labeled that. The unusable ones will be labeled with W before mod RP, as they are still works in progress. I don't know if there's any within the main file right now. I don't recall. Um, so we're going to find something that we want to patch this with. Um, we're going to use the broken skeleton package this time. And that just adds it to the character. This sometimes is not enough. There's one more step you need to take. You need to check the list references and anything with the squad file, we need to check. And sometimes this one does not. Sometimes this can have dialogue squad, which will act as an override for any patches set in character. So if this ha has something that's like that, we would want to click add with dialogue squad, we'd go to the same package that we want to add. So this is broken skeleton that we want to add. And we would add that. This also stays the same for dialogue leader. Dialogue leader targets only the leader of the squad, which would be another skeleton assassin in this case. Um, going to remove that because there's no thing within that. And we would repeat this steps for anything within the mod that we want to patch. So this has a dialog package. We would go dialog package broken skeleton because that's what we want. This may not be fitting for this character. I don't know what's within the mod. It's an example mod. Um, we don't need to put in dialog player package because that's what the player character will have. Um, yeah. I think that covers it all, hopefully, because I don't want to call this again. Hopefully this gives some insight in how to patch things. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment or add me on Steam. My Discord is Laval, and the number should be 3463. You can also find me on the Kenshi Discord. I'm pretty active there for any questions. Um, and yeah, hopefully this helps.